Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Crochet by KJ. I'm your host, KJ, and today we're talking about the Mandala Baby Yarns. I ordered these four from the Lion Brand website. I spent $7.99 um, for each of these, and then they went on sale. <laughs> so watch for sales on those. I also hear that they are being discontinued in Walmarts, and that we will be able to find them uh, very soonly in Joann's. So I'm excited about that because I'd like to get my hands on some more of them. So the baby yarn versus the regular Mandela yarn is what we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to show you the colorways that I have and run through them, describe them to you, and um, give you my first impressions and, and uh, what I think about it. And then um, maybe it's something that you'll want to purchase as well. So here we go. The four, these are the four that I chose. Um, these are my favorite kinds of colors, and I thought for starters, that's what I would like to work with. I love um, blues mostly, anything in that cool tone. Um, this one's a little out of character for me, but uh, I enjoy it. It is very pretty, and we'll talk about that one. So here's the four I purchased. I bought um, Echo Caves. Echo Caves. Gosh, I'll be buying more of this one because this colorway is just... It's beautiful. Um, let me get in here, get you some good, good light. All right. So a lot of blues in this and blues to greens. Um, so my center, there's, it's all blue. Here's a huge chunk of blue, uh, almost a navy, but it, it's not quite a true navy. It's dusty, dusky. Um, all of the colors are just a little bit softer. Uh, so you have this navy, it goes into this gray, like blue, it transitions into the light blue, uh, the white, and then into this fun sage uh, green, into this more of a jade green, and back out to the a navy blue green. It's, it's so pretty, and it's very soft. It is really a nice um, yarn. I've been looking for a colorway like this for some time. Um, I'm looking forward to, to messing with this one. The next one that I purchased, chose, was Neverland. Neverland, what a sweet baby yarn, right? Um, just every color you want in here, as far as pastels and babies. Um, so, going through that, in my center pole I have a, a spring green, um, mint into a light blue. It's got this like mauve purple in here before you hit the pink. A white, then a true lavender, a uh, lemon yellow, and then almost this, if you see here, this lime. It's, it's, it's really pretty. And um, you got your colorway on the side as well so you can see all the transitions into there. I have a cat who's about to jump on to screen. Um, she's finding this quite interesting. So I'll we'll see if she pops in. Um, my third colorway, yep, whoop, oh, here she is. This is Pippa. Hi, Pippa. Pippa is my most antisocial cat, and she doesn't come near me that often. Uh, she's my son's. And so that she's even this close to me, I'm not going to disturb her. Let's see what she's going to do. <laughs> okay, anyhow. Uh, the third one I bought was Dream World. Dream World is that uh, definite princess. It starts with this magenta, moves into a dark uh, charcoal gray, into a silvery gray. Again, that, um, oh gosh, mauve light mauve into a pink. This is not, this is like a bubblegum pink. This is not a true white. This is a very, very light pink to a more, um, gosh, pink. <laughs> I'm, I'm having a hard time describing the colors today. To a more pink and then to that hot pink. Goodness. So uh, very pretty, again, soft, nice. This is Dream World. The last one that I picked up was Magic Moon. Um, these purples are fabulous. You've got this true like the Pantone color of the year, ultraviolet, into this blue midnight violet. Um, and then you work into this dark grape color 
and, and then this lighter grape color. Um, it goes into a mauvey purple, grays, a white, and then back into this dusky gray purple, and um, out to this. Again, these kind of match. So it, it comes back to this one before it transitions into this light violet and then back to that deep ultraviolet. This one's very pretty. I'm looking forward to, to messing with this. You can see all the colors here as we go around. So um, what's the difference between the regular man mandala? Sorry about the wrapping. This is mandala in unicorn. And here's Dream World, and here's how they can kind of compare. You can see that the colorways aren't totally different. Um, you can tell just by looking that this is much more tight. Um, this is definitely softer. It's got more of a texture to it than this does. They're both threes. They're still a three. Let me get over here to the labels for you. There you go. They're both threes. That's the same yardage, the same weight, 150 grams, 590 yards, um, and it is a light three. This does definitely feel, it, it just feels softer. It feels a little bit thicker even than the regular uh, mandala. It's almost like it's not as tightly woven, maybe. I don't know, that's my opinion. I was looking at some similars that I have. I pulled, uh, this is an old Bernat Softy Baby in light blue and you can kind of see, and it's also a three, and you can kind of see it's a little bit the same texture. Maybe not as shiny, um, but definitely you have that same texture in there, that same uh, weave, whereas in this one you have a much tighter weave. Um, looking forward to messing with it. Like I said, Echo Caves is by far my favorite. Um, I'll be Definitely, those greens are just fabulous. I will definitely be purchasing more of that and looking for sales this next time because $7.99s. Although, you know, it's worth it because it's a pretty big chunk, um, but when you can get it for $4.99, it's a lot nicer, right? Okay, so that's uh, the Mandala, ba Mandala Baby. And um, again, you can get it at the lionbrand.com. Uh, some Walmarts, and most of the Walmarts are starting to put them on sale. Uh, mine here have the mandalas for three, I think it's $3.49 instead of um, $4.99. So take a look at that. And um, yeah, so what's on my hook? What's on your hook? This week I'm on spring break. I'm a teacher by trade. And um, I'm on spring break, so I have been crocheting up a storm. I have finished a shawl, I finished a baby blanket, and now I'm working on this butte. This is the um, stacking blocks from Yarnspirations. Mikey has a tutorial, um, and I will link that below. It's fun, it's all triple crochet, so it stacks very quickly, and then you get a really pretty, let me come out a little bit, you get a pretty nice design in it as well. I'm working in the Karen Cake, Karen Cakes, and I am using uh, Rum Raisin in this one. So um, looking forward to it. It's just, it's nice, it's simple, it's in a round. I like, I enjoy patterns that I can learn the pattern and then just go and I'm not constantly referring back to a diagram or to a, a tutorial. Um, for me, crocheting is a, um, it, it's peaceful to me. It's something that uh, it's repetitive, it's repetitive motion, it's very calming, it's soothing, it's something to do with my hands to busy my, to lessen my busy mind. Um, it's cathartic to me. So I like something that I can repeat uh, continually and that I don't have to um, constantly be looking at directions or um, a pattern. Not that I haven't done that. I love graph gans. They're a lot of fun, but you definitely have to be in that mindset. So uh, for this couple of weeks for spring break, I have definitely just been like, peace out, relax, and, and go. So this is what I'm working on. I'm liking this colorway a lot. I'm looking forward to getting to that teal blue. Um, 
as I'm moving on the teal green and then you have that fun I don't know I think this is teal I think this is teal maybe I'm not the best color describer <laughs> who knows so um, plan for my next video uh, I saw some folks on Facebook making their own cakes um, and so I thought how much fun would that be so I'm gonna work on that and practice that and um, show you some of what I've done and, and come up with next so looking forward to that Thank you guys for subscribing. I am almost to 100 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please like and do so. Share this video out. Um, it's really kind of been fun because it's just great talking with some of you and you've been um, messaging me personally and, and I've met some really cool people. So please like and share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful crochet day. Bye.